Thank you very much. That's just a, that's a poetry mic, because um, I'm pretentious as fuck. Um, so I know that at the end of that poem, it gets kind of sort of like a messagey, kind of like preachy, like I'm trying to get a message across. Um, and my message is firmly, fuck Umbro. So I thought <laughs> what I'd do now, um, so I'd basically just discount everything I said in that. I don't want to detract from that message. Um, fuck Umbro. Uh, but what I'd do now is I'd do some sort of like miscellaneous jokes. If you cue the music, Juan, um, I'll do some miscellaneous jokes for you guys. That is his name. Uh, <laughs> what a weird thing to say if it wasn't. Um, <laughs> Uh, so just miscellaneous jokes for you guy, uh, guys, and then we can sort of like, uh, off the back of that serious thing, we can get back into the sort of um, ruffling spirit. Never saying that again? Okay, um, except every day when I said it in Edinburgh. Here we go, all right. The other day I had hiccups, so my friend jumped out at me to try and scare me. And I was like, oh, great. Now I've got hiccups and I've shit myself. It's the first one, here comes the second one. I feel like maybe Hitler wouldn't have been so grumpy if people hadn't left him hanging for high fives all the time. <laughs> if you didn't get that one, picture Hitler. That is all you had to do. Meet me halfway, for fuck's sake. I know these jokes, by the way. I did this loads of times in Edinburgh. This is just a prop. Um, I just use this. I just think this is a good opportunity for me to write myself sort of like messages of encouragement. Uh, so this just says, keep believing. <laughs> Without the G, because I'm young. Ops, ops. <laughs> All right. The other day, a man told me that he really sets the bar high at limbo, and I have no idea if he was saying he's good or bad. <laughs> Recently, I discovered that the D in D-Day, it doesn't stand for Dolmio. <laughs> and I was like, I owe my granddad a huge apology. <laughs> I have said some things. That food fight was in terrible taste. D-Day, you bro, my God. Nah, he, he, he's dead, as I said. All right. <laughs> porn ruins sex, doesn't it? Porn completely ruins sex because men watch porn and they just want to try and reenact whatever they've seen in the porn. Like literally now, whenever a plumber comes over to my house, I immediately suck his dick. <laughs> Proud of me, Mum? <laughs> it's quite an immature, that's quite an immature joke, guys, but apparently I look really grown up. So, uh, that one was guest written by my nana. Same handwriting though, suspiciously. Alright. Which idiot called it finding a lump on your testicle and not unexpected item in the bagging area? Okay, last one of these. Then we can go back to lanious jokes. All right. <clears throat> My ex-girlfriend was so demanding. Ah, oh, she was so demanding. She'd always ask me to text her when I got in. That's how small my penis is. <laughs> Does that change the plumber inch for you guys? It shouldn't, it was his dick, pay attention. That was a test and you failed. <laughs> always follow a bull joke with a dick joke. Not my words. The words of my nana, as I said. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs>